Hey, hi, how are you? Uh, the other day, I got this email. I, this is not, I printed it. If it came like this, it would have been a letter. <laughs> Subject, uh, thanks for the videos. Hello, Seven and Sophia. Watching your videos helped fix my dad's Amigo pinball machine. That's, um, that's a, a mid-70s ballet machine. Uh, a friend of mine had one of those, kind of fun. Uh, it stopped working almost 20 years ago. It sat in his rec room collecting dust. He wanted to fix it, but had no idea where to start. We watched the videos and cleaned and adjusted the score units, cleaned another stepping unit, and finally got it running. Dad was thrilled. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, one question I have for you. It's working now, but smells unusual. Wait. It's working now, but smells unusual inside. Is it normal for uh, these to have an odor? Um, so, kind of. Um, they have sort of a, you know, if you go to like a mechanics shop, like an auto mechanic shop, it has a particular smell to it. It's like oil and machinery and that kind of thing. It's kind of like a light version of that. That's what they normally smell like. If they smell musty and mildewy, then you've got to mitigate that problem. Um, if it smells burned, then you have a completely other problem. Um, on, on electromechanical machines, there's usually a couple of solenoids that um, when you power them on and turn them on, they engage. So there's one on the coin door. Uh, sometimes that'll get a little smoked and stinky. Um, and then the, on, on a Bally machine, there's a roll of sol in, in the cabinet, there's a roll of sol solenoids on the right hand side. Near the front, there's gonna be one that engages um, that basically more or less gives power to the machine. Um, that one will be engaged the entire time the thing is on. And I've seen those get a little, um, a little smoky and gross. My Royal Flush has one. It's a game over relay that's similar that when the game ends, this relay engages and it'll stay engaged the whole time that the, the game is over. <laughs> that one cooked itself to death. Like it was, it was pretty stinky when that one died. Um, so if it smells burn and stuff, there's something unusual going on. Just look at the solenoids, wherever the smell is coming from, look at the solenoids, see if anything looks um, especially uh, brown and toasty. <laughs> um, if it just sort of has that mechanic-y smell, that's, that's usual. I, I kind of like the smell. Um, you could probably hang, you could do some air fresheners in it if it really bothers you or something like that. But if you're smelling it when the machine is all closed up, then you might have a problem. <laughs> uh, if, if it's something more unusual, email me and uh, I'll, I'll see if I can, we, we can figure it out. Okay. Uh, anyway, so to continue, I saw your video about the wireless soldering iron. There's a package on the way to the arcade. My coworker has one and loves it. I think you'll like it better. Our way of saying thanks and assigned Jane B. So then, this arrived. <laughs> so that's amazing, thank you. And now we're gonna go and play with this because I wanna check it out. So let's, um, uh, let's go over to, let's go to the back room and we'll, we'll plug this in and goof around. Uh, okay, so um, over the last week or so, I did have a chance to actually use the Fo Frog Bro out in the arcade. Uh, I had a couple of solenoids that just became detached and we were crowded, and so this is exactly what I wanted this thing for. Normally I have my um, Tyco, uh, it's an FX951, and it's on my bench, and I love this thing. It's really great because it's, it's made for, you know, a lot of soldering and stuff. <laughs> it stays cooled down when you take this thing off. It ramps up the, the temperature. Uh, it only takes a second for it to beep. We'll let it, uh, we'll let it warm up here. All right, so it's, it's warmed up. Well, it's in sleep mode. When I take this off, now it's ready to go. I like that, it's, it's pretty cool. And the, the idea of the ramping up and ramping down is it saves your tip. So if you've got this on for you know a couple of hours on the bench, um, it doesn't just sit and heat up your tip the whole time. It only does it basically when you, when you need it. Awesome thing. Uh, Frog Bro. Uh, if you saw the other video, you have to power it on by holding this button in. 
then it comes on, then to, to warm up, the, the tip is cold. To warm up the tip, you have to hold this button in, or you just touch this button. And it takes a while, uh, as you'll see. Any time now. <laughs> All right, there it goes. So now it's good to go. But what I found is that this is sort of, if, if you just take your finger off of it, then it's got to start all over again. So if I'm, if I'm in there and, and I'm warming it up like this, and then I have to adjust something, I found I was doing this. And so there was a lot of time, a lot of me waiting for this thing to warm up and, and get ready to go. Still better than dragging my, my, uh, my card out and using this thing. Um, because it, I mean, it's, it's easier to just take this and, and this and go fix it. Right. Okay. So that's my preamble. <laughs> so this arrived, this is a, uh, a, a portable power bank and I haven't opened this yet. So this will be fun. I think I know what's in here, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. These look like, uh, these look like the, the Heiko tips. Here's a little, uh, USB adapter, USB, nice USB cable. Ooh, fancy little thing. Yeah, that's, that's not going to work. Power supply. And then here it is. It's a Ferengi. It's a Ferengi. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look at how tiny that box is. That's cool. Um, yeah. Little pull tab. Ooh, it's so cool. This is a cap, I guess. There, yeah. I'm not going to read no man. I don't need no stinking manual. There's a little chisel tip. I don't know if you can see it. That's probably what I will use. Maybe we do it this way. No, that's got to hold it in place. There we go. All right. All right, let me... Um, I probably want to charge this. I'm going to charge this. Uh, hold, please. All right. Charged. I'm going to, I'm going to play with this without reading the manual. <laughs> Let's see if we can figure it out. Uh, power on. Uh oh. Let's try this. Oh, there it goes. 100%. Awesome. I can't get it with my fat sausage fingers. Oh. Okay. So this button is flashing on the display. Oh, look at it ramp up.
So it's about 200 Celsius. Us. Hmm. Uh, leave your camera on. Uh, now it's now it seems to be getting warm. Now it's smoking. I wonder what's taken what it took so long. Uh, Flair is definitely confused, but you can see it's hot. Maybe just because it's shiny. I don't know. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> so just took it a few minutes to warm up. Uh, we'll have to play around with that. Let's do some soldering. So that's about as much time as it takes for that thing. But I guess I have this a little bit set a little bit hotter, but that's okay. Frog bro. So one thing that I did notice uh, the other day, this is the original charge that I had on it. It still looks like it's fully charged, but it really didn't seem like it was getting hot. Um, not hot enough. See that? It's like. This whole thing doesn't turn, I hope you can see this, it doesn't really turn liquid. Let's, let's do this. Try to get this in a way that you guys can see. Hopefully you can see that. All right, let's try this. Waiting, waiting. All right, that's not so bad. Oh, I took my finger off of it. Now we gotta wait again. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. <laughs> it's, you know, if, if this is all you have, if the frog grows all you have, maybe not so bad, but All right, so I I would be comfortable with that in a machine. All right, let's try this bad boy. It's very light. It's nice. Alright, the, uh, what the heck is this thing? The Ferengi HS01 
versus the Frog Bro Fantastico Red Machine. Uh, the Ferengi w wins. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty awesome, and it's got the little power supply uh, for it, and it's still at 100%. That's amazing. Um, so you know what I think I'm going to do is I, the one thing nice about this is this is it. It's all self-contained. This I have a little bit more to pack around, but I think if I just get a little uh, hook that I can hang off the side of the machine and then this can sit in the thing and maybe I'll, maybe I'll modify like something, get one of these guys. I can have like this really cool little portable, oh, I'm at 99%, I think I'll live. Um, have a, like a really cool little portable soldering station little thing for my solder, a little coil thing that this, uh, I'm going to have to play with that. That's cool. All right. So, uh, this is awesome. This is amazing. Um, I want to thank Jane for sending this over. Um, that's a, that's a, a fantastic gift. Thank you very much. Uh, so that's, that's my little wireless soldering versus something with a wire, I guess. Another little video. Um, uh, I guess I don't have anything else to say. Thank you, Jane. Uh, thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you later.